Yeah, um, I thought the crowd was electric. It was great to have uh, that kind of atmosphere, which we've had throughout the year. The, the, the fans have been really consistent um, and done a great job for us. So that helps energize our players. I thought our players started fast. Um, the, the offensive staff had a great plan and executed the plan. But at the end of the day, the, the ability to run the ball opens things up and gives you you know, the ability to do a lot of things offensively, which we were able to do. We probably didn't get um, Kentucky's back and best shot. I know they got a better team than they played to tonight. And um, in the SEC, you know, it's, it's the humility is a week away. And I've always said it. It's been a mantra I've had all my life. And humility is always one week away in terms of your preparation, just like for us next week. Well, I mean, we haven't done it, and, you know, we still won. So uh, it, it certainly helps to start fast. It helps to, to do things well and play well and have a good plan and execute the plan. But it doesn't mean that the times we didn't, the plan wasn't good. We just we didn't always execute it, and um, we played well offensively, especially tonight, and uh, executed well. So that, that, that definitely helps momentum-wise. Coach Carson mentioned you all might have taken a slightly different approach during practice with regards to the start. I'm just curious what would you attribute <laughs> we didn't do anything different in practice. I mean, I don't, I don't know what he's referring to. Um, uh, maybe offense changed something up to start faster. I, I, I don't know. We, we did the same practices we, we've been doing. Um, I attribute the success starting to uh, execution. Uh, Carson was really in rhythm early. And, and when you run the ball and you have play action and your offensive line protects, you have good throwers and catchers, you, you're going you're gonna to do well. I mean, they did well on us. When you have good pass protectors, and a good thrower, and you've got the ability to run the ball, it makes it, makes it hard to defend as a defensive team because they you know, stand back there, they have all day because they're protected, and you can't cover them that long. Kirby, conversely, I think it's been 42 games now since you guys uh, given up 100 yards to a back. Davis came in pretty high. What, what do you, you know, everybody commits to the run. What, what do you think the difference is taking over, I guess, 2020 the last time someone went for 100 on I don't know that we do anything different. I mean, we have good players. We have good coaches. And when you have good players and good coaches, um, you execute at a high level. Uh, Trey Scott and, and, and our defensive staff, they, they believe in striking blockers and playing the run. And, you know, we, we probably haven't played the run as good this year as we could. But it wasn't for lack of trying or lack of tackling. And, and you know, the first thing we did on Monday after the Auburn game was we showed them ten clips of unbelievable run defense against Auburn. We had some unbelievable – uh, strikes and blow delivery and getting off blocks. And that's what play and run defense is. I mean, we were really positive with them and showed them doing it right, and they, they responded to that. Coach, would you say this was a complete performance by both offense and defense? And if not, what will it take to get there? I thought it was a really, really good performance by offense. I thought defensively there was times that we were, you know, off balance. And uh, the offense, you know, made them play a little – our offense made them play a little – uh, left-handed in terms of, you know, you can't sit there and, and be methodical if you're down that quickly. And, uh, you know, we knew that they would struggle to play from behind. That's not their style of play. Uh, so it, the, the the quick start played big time to our advantage. But, no, it wasn't a complete performance on defense. I mean, statistically it'll say that in terms of the numbers, but not not for what I would like to have. Several players mentioned Tuesday's practices. They felt like it was big. It was really physical. I mean, they, 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 they bought into the physicality. We told them all week that it was going to be the most physical game, and they believed it. And they, they practiced really physical Tuesday and Wednesday, and I thought that was indicative of the way they were going to play the game. What have you seen from Rara in recent practices, and then obviously tonight that you knew that you had this great impact that you did? Yeah, he, he, he's the biggest guy that can change our offense because we have some guys that can do things. Obviously, Brock is special, and Carson's played well, and, and there's a lot of guys that can do things. But it, it, it loosens your defense up when you've got a, a guy over there at X that can win some one-on-ones. And um, if he comes to life and keeps growing like he's done, he makes us uh, he makes us harder to defend because you know there's a lot of answers you have. It's hard to answer if, if the guy can just go up and catch balls one-on-one. -on -one. What were you thinking uh, when you said it has to come out of the game, Jerry Coach, in, and what did you see in, in that transition period? I wasn't thinking much. I mean, Jerry goes with our ones every day in practice. He gets probably 30% of the ones reps, and he does a great job. Jared is a 
uh, incredible athlete. He, he's run the high, uh, highest speed of all our defensive linemen and our offensive linemen. I, I, I trust Jared a lot. So it was great that it was a position that we have depth at. What do you say to critics saying Georgia hasn't looked like a number one team after tonight's performance? I don't say anything to them. I'm I'm worried about our performance for Vanderbilt. I mean, I, I didn't say anything when we didn't look well. I'm not going to say anything now. I, I just I'm 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 really concerned with what we can do from this game to get better for the next one because we want to be a lead at getting better. Do you feel like you were the number one team in the country tonight? I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I, I want to be the number one team at the end of the year. And the goal to get there is to get better. I, I could care less what anybody ranks us. Kirby, did you think it was a matter of time before you guys had a more complete performance? Not that it wasn't good tonight. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I told y'all that our offense has been really good in camp, and they've uh, they've been really explosive and. It, they were really special with Branson because it gave you a, a bigger dynamic running the ball. And um, we, we have a good quarterback. We have some good weapons. Um, and we, we've got to continue to get better. But uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with where they are. I was very pleased with where they are after each and every game. Touch how important is it to get Kendall back like it did tonight and I thought Kendall did a great job tonight. Kendall hit it, and, and Mike talked about it during the week. He said, we got to get somebody that can get us, you know, three, four, five yards, and we can't be behind the sticks like we were at Auburn. And uh, I thought Kendall brought a little hefty punch, stuck it up in there. Got some, he got a lot of yards after contact, and it's the first time that I thought he looked healthy all year. We can take a punch and we can give a punch. Jamon said recently, Um, great leadership. Uh, he's, you know, he was dinged up in the Auburn game and pushed through, and um, he, 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 you know, he was, he's been hurt all week, really playing hurt, and um, he, he had, we had a plan to, you know, be able to pressure some, and he, he got the benefit of that. You know, it's very rare that we get to play a team that drops back and plays what I call, you know, real drop back football. Kentucky does that, and it gave us a chance to rush a little bit and do some things that other teams don't give us a chance to do. be good on first and second down because if you're good on first and second down you know what it does to third down it makes it really long and when they're in third and long you're really good so I would venture to say that our third and longs that we've defended have been longer than their bounces in the country which statistically you win third down by getting them in third and long if they're in third and one and two I bet you we're not very good you know like they 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 converted on fourth down on us tonight it was fourth and two you know so it's one of those deals that uh you get them in third and long you don't let people run the ball and uh you play good defense behind it. But we have been proud of that group. I mean, we, 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 you know, our guys took some blows and took some jabs after the Auburn game, and, and we self-reflected and said, hey, look, guys, we've been better third down defense than we've ever been here, and we've got unbelievable defenses in our history. So we don't measure ourselves against the country. We measure ourselves against ourselves. Well, it was created by the defense getting the stop, in which we have not uh, been great at this year. We always like to win the halftime deal, the the, and we have not really done that well this year. I've had you know I called a timeout, let the team score. I didn't call the timeouts this time. He helped me out by throwing the ball, so we got to save our timeouts, and we wanted to be aggressive if they didn't hit a great punt, and and Mike called the good plays, and Carson was patient enough to hit the back. I mean, if he just checks down to the back, we're going to get a field goal, and uh, he did that. Coach, you pride yourself on humility and being a student of learning and getting better. What's one thing that you were proud of that your guys did tonight? And what's an area of improvement going into national next week? The thing I was most proud of was the physicality. We, we talked about that people can't match our connection, and nobody really believes that matters, or at least I, I don't know how much people believe it matters. We do, and we think that what we do all all season in terms of the connection with each other combined with our physicality is what makes us dangerous. And uh, we used the, the wrecking ball analogy, and we showed wrecking balls all week and just said it's going to get more and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the bigger the wrecking ball is, you know, force equals mass times acceleration. And we, we talked all week about a lot of mass and a lot of acceleration. And I thought that our offensive line, what I, when you say what was I proud of, 
their ability to run the ball against Kentucky was the difference in the game. <laughs> well, it's 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 when you have the ability to run the ball. Like everybody just thinks, oh, there's Brock Bowers, key him. Well, you can't just key him because you, you, when you play zone defense, you don't know who has him. <clears throat> and when you play man defense, you can't cover him. So there's a, there's illusions, you know. There's a rocket motion, and, and one guy has the receiver. The receiver goes across the field. Now that defensive back that had the receiver, he has Brock, but he didn't know he had Brock before the motion occurred. So there's bumping going on. There's all kinds of action going across the field, and it's a it's a nightmare because if you put your eyes in the backfield and you think you got to stop the run, 19's behind you. Uh, and I'm sure if teams wanted to stop 19, they could, but we got we got other answers. Yeah, both of them weren't able to make it. One of them dealing with sickness, and one of them couldn't be with us. So, Coach, I asked you at the beginning of the year which team might be elite at. You said you didn't know. What happened with this team? What do you think they're elite at? Taking a punch and giving a punch. You speaking of that in the first, in the first half, uh, you know they they had a, they were moving the ball. They had a couple of big penalties that really took them out. It took the momentum away from them. And uh, at the same time, you guys you know answered each time. Did you, you just uh, that first quarter? The, uh, how big were the, the penalties that kind of hurt them and, and sort of you guys were able to seize momentum, I think? Yeah, I thought the momentum was the big, the rah-rah play because I didn't think it was a touchdown. You know, I couldn't see from where I was, and then they were yelling in the box that it was a touchdown. That was the biggest momentum because it went from – was that third down that happened on? I don't know. But it, it, second down maybe, I don't know. But when, when we scored a touchdown there, it was like, whoa. You know, we got we got huge momentum here. They did have some penalties. And, and I'll say this, you know, I, I – our team had great discipline tonight to not get cheap penalties. And we told them, we said, hey, look, Kentucky will have some, some penalties. They'll have guys push you or shove you or do something to you. I said, just don't respond to it. And I thought our guys were really good. You know, it really cost them on the drive. They stopped us, and they uh, and then they, and they had to the get hit said. And that converts the third down that we didn't convert, and we go down and score that drive. So people don't ever talk about – the discipline our team has, I, 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 I so respect our guys for not retaliating or taking shots um, when people do things, you know, to, to take shots at you. How valuable in the long run was getting guys like Brock Vandegrift on the field, getting them in situations like this and letting them play what they were able to Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's great. I mean, if he has to go in and play, he's going to be more and more ready. He gains confidence each time he goes out there. It's awesome. They got to get better, though. They they go out there and play against the same guys the other guys do, and they got to be able to block people and play physical. And, and that's something that they 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 got a lot better last week in practice because we made them um, go block and go be physical, and they got to continue to do that if they're going to play. For the second time in two weeks, you got the disconcerting signal penalty, and obviously mm -hmm. that helped lead to their touchdown or one of their two touchdowns. It seemed like the guys were a little bit confused as to why that call was being made. Had, did you get any word from the it's complicated. <laughs> it's real complicated. So. That's a tough call. It's complicated, Chip. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't get into it. It may be. It may be above some of y'all's football IQ. No offense. No offense. Kirby, uh, Tebow was talking about the, the win streak and how you mentioned taking punches and, and how you get everybody's best game. And he said it was important to, to celebrate the win. And yeah. Something that you had done. How have you kept the team up when it has been such a grind and you are getting everybody's best game? I don't know that we get everybody's best game. That's that's like that's like everybody. I mean, everybody should get everybody's best game. They're not just giving us their best game because of our ranking or because of our winning streak or any of that. They they, they want to play their best game because that's what they need to do. Well, just like we want to play our best game regardless of who we're playing. But um, I am enjoying the wins. I, I cherished the hell out of the win last week. I told y'all I knew it was going to be ten times harder to play on the road at Auburn than any any game we had had. And I knew this week. This was really their first road test, and uh, and, and they were, it was going to be an advantage for us in terms of that. I mean, it's a it's a factor, guys. When you play on the road in the SEC, it's hard. And um, I knew we'd have good juice ready to come out, and um, and our guys when they get challenged, they want to go play well. So I embrace winning and enjoying the moment. I'm not going to sit back and, and think that you're just going to – it's not going to go on forever. And, and, and when we do lose, when that happens, we're going to move to the next one too. 
Like it's going to move. The life is going to go on. The sun's going to come up tomorrow, and we're going to have to get better. I don't know who Miley Cyrus is. Like, what is it? What does she have to do with a wrecking ball? Huh? I know Eric Church wrecking ball. Yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. So we wanted a lot of mass. What is a lot of mass? More hats. What is acceleration? More speed. And we wanted that going into them and we wanted to do it connected like we wanted to be connected in our physicality and we showed videos of a wrecking ball it was just a big ball hitting a building i mean it's knocking it down and each week each day in the meeting it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and we wanted to be the wrecking ball let's take two more questions Well, there's hidden yardage, right? I mean, we we got to fill the ball to not let the ball bounce and roll and get down. I mean, you don't want to start on your own two. It takes a lot of confidence to run up there and catch the ball. Sometimes the greatest return you ever have is the ball you fair caught. Um, and he's he's done a tremendous job for us. That kid takes so much pride doing it right. I love him to death. And if we wouldn't clip, he would have had an outstanding return tonight that he he didn't even need the clip. You've always said. says we can take a punch and give a punch.